Well, our other big story tonight is the security breach that led to a delay of the highly anticipated Copa America final between Argentina and Colombia. It was delayed for more than an hour as videos like this have been making a lot of rounds on social media. We do have team coverage for you tonight at Hard Rock Stadium. We're going to begin with CBS News Miami's Anna McAllister, who talked to people in the crowds. Anna, what were they telling you about this chaotic scene? Chelsea fans were telling me it was absolute mayhem. They say people were pushing and shoving each other, jumping over barriers to get in. And the saddest part about all of this, there are some fans who paid thousands of dollars for tickets and travel, and they were locked out at the gate. Absolute chaos at Copa America. As thousands of fans stood in line waiting to get into Hard Rock Stadium Sunday, a group of them started pushing, shoving, and jumping over security barriers at the southwest entrance. All advising that there are about 100 people fighting at the club members' entrance. A bunch of people jumping a wall and breaking down a, a door, and then it was a crowd of people just running into the stadium. And we were getting shoved around a lot. The pressure on my chest was nuts. Um, it was like, it was not cool at all. They had like 20 to like 30 officers right after you get inside the event, just making sure, just like looking for people who are running past. Officers are seen on video taking down unruly fans. Some fans who tell us they bought tickets for the game left the stadium devastated, saying they were locked out at the gate. We spent more than $2,000 in this, and, and, and we didn't get in. The game was delayed by more than an hour because of the mayhem. After the security breach, Hard Rock Stadium released this statement, saying in part, all fans without tickets must leave the Hard Rock Stadium premises. It is paramount to a successful and most importantly, a safe match. And we just received this statement from Miami-Dade Police. We just received this statement from Miami-Dade Police, and it says, as part of our ongoing commitment to our residents and visitors, we are utilizing all of our resources at the Copa America game. It is our goal to provide a safe environment for all of those who are attending. We want to remind everyone at these games to obey all of the rules set by our officers and Hard Rock Stadium. There is zero tolerance for unruly behavior. But for now, reporting live from outside of Hard Rock Stadium, Anna McAllister, CBS News, Miami. Okay, Anna, with the latest information, thank you. Our team coverage continues right now with Trish Christakis. You were there at the very beginning of this, the start, when none of this was even happening. Trish, walk us through uh, what it was like before things escalated, if you can. Yeah, Chelsea, so when I got here, I mean, the vibes were high. People were happy, excited. There was tailgating going on, a lot of music playing. And then slowly as the gates um, started to open or as people would line up, things got a little hectic. People were starting to cram and climb over each other. And as you can see behind me right now, this fence is still bent over. People were climbing over these to try and get in. I think around, I want to say like 5.15 when, um, when we were walking back from earlier, people were trying to jump in before gates were even opening. So it's it's been kind of... Um, chaotic to say the least and it's gotten worse as you know they had to postpone it multiple times the fences that are around me have been completely destroyed i'm sure everyone has seen on social media also escalators broken so it's been um i mean you can hear people are, are still screaming as we're as they're walking by it's been chaotic, Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, and you've been keeping track of this for us on your social media. You've been putting things out on X. Uh, you also talk to people, so tell us what you've been hearing. So we'll uh, send a sound in a second, but one of the, the guys that I spoke to, he was actually here with a group of people, five people. They bought their own tickets. They were ready. They were excited. They were standing probably about five feet that way, waiting to get inside. And he told me that the son that they were with did not want to go in because they were scared. Take a listen to this uh, soundbite. I know. I, I have a friend with his with his 10-year-old son, and he don't want to go in. But we paid the tickets. We have five tickets. And the, and the little kid, he said, I don't want to go in. Is he afraid? Yeah, totally afraid. Totally, no, you, we live like, like, a, like a nightmare there. Nightmare, nightmare. People pushing without air. It was like really, really bad. Well, 
Well, taking a live look back out here, we're looking at the empty area. This was beyond packed earlier. You couldn't even walk through it. This, he actually told me that he was walking through an area to try and get to his friends and he could hardly breathe because there was that many people backed in. Um, let's take a listen to that sound bite real quick. We need to jump up fence, like a high fence, to be trying to be out of this crowd of people. I mean, helping women and little kids to jump the fence. Like, it was, no, it's, it was really, really bad. Yeah, like you said, women, children, um, adults, it doesn't matter the age, people were climbing the fences like the ones behind me. I actually just spoke to one of the people who works for Hard Rock Stadium. He came out. He had probably about six or seven Band-Aids on his legs. He goes, I don't know what cut me, but something cut me. He said he's worked here for 19 years, 19 years, and he has never seen anything like this. He was cornered. A cop had to pull him back behind a door to keep him safe. They let people in for about... Oh my gosh, me and my photographer were standing right here maybe three minutes and then they closed it because when people are walking in, as you can see behind me, they have places where you check your, your tickets, you go through security. Well, people were running past them so much that they couldn't check to see if they had weapons on them. They couldn't check anything. So they closed everything off so they could stop people from getting in, which then people were then left out here who have tickets. So they had it open for maybe five minutes right here on the Southwest gate. And since then they have not reopened. All right, Trish, definitely an unsettling situation. Curly unsafe. Glad you were safe. And thank you for your perspective because you've been at Hard Rock all day and you cover the Dolphins too. So you know kind of the vibe and the security precautions that are usually in place. Thank you.